Howdy y'all, today we're going to be taking another look, a follow-up look at Open Auto Pro. It's been a few months and there's been a couple big updates. The last one I looked at I think was 5.0, 8.0 just released about a week ago at the time of filming. And it launched one feature in particular that I've been waiting for, and that's a more convenient wireless Android Auto. Before you could do this, but it was honestly pretty jank. You had to have on whatever phone you were going to use, the server enabled for that and then connect it on the same wireless network or you could just connect it to your hotspot of your phone. Again, it was pretty jank because you had to have each phone set up like that. Uh, I never found it to work super great, at least for me. I'm not sure if it's hardware I'm using also, but uh, it just stuttered a heck of a lot more than the usual wired in connection. So we're gonna be taking a look at that and I'm also gonna be taking a look at the update process. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with it, but I wanna show you guys that it's really nice that I don't have to take apart the entire setup to just update it. So I'm gonna be taking a, my trusty old wireless keyboard over there and we're gonna be updating. So see you in the car. Whew. Okay, we are in the car guys. Now, since the last video I made, I think I did update to 6.1 in the meantime. Uh, I don't think there was anything super special about this update. But I just wanted to let you know that I wasn't jumping straight from 5.0, which I think was the last one that I covered in the video. Anyway, we'll get to it. So right now I have my wireless keyboard hooked up. Again, I really need to find a tiny one that I can just keep in the car, but for now this works. So I'm just going to exit out of the app or get into Raspbian and then now have access to the system. So one of the weird issues or weird, I guess, kind of quirks about this update, which it's nice that they offer it but it's just a little bit strange so in order to get access to the update you have to send an email to blue wave studios the guys behind open auto pro with your order number and then they'll give you uh they'll send you an email with a link to the just image or a link that you can i guess i should better state that it'll give you something that you can enter into your terminal to get a package and then update it from there so that's what we're going to do right now i'm just going to type this up and we will get back to it. Okay. Just in case uh, the download was anything special, I just cut that off, but nothing scary. If you're not used to using a terminal, don't be afraid. You're just typing in something that's just getting a package, typing in something else to unzip it, and then uh, typing in, I think, one thing to get into that folder that you unzip the stuff and then one more thing to just run the update that's it nothing crazy just uh, don't don't be afraid if that's your first time in a terminal which i actually if you were doing all this stuff i kind of doubt you'd be but still nothing crazy just let us do its thing and i'll catch you guys when this is all done i think it'll reboot after that okay if you haven't been able to tell I have been in my car for quite a while, ran into quite an issue, not really to do anything with the OAP, it's just with my phone. You have to connect to this thing like it's a, a wireless hotspot, and what happens is your phone might try to use it for data, which of course is not going to work, even if you have a very good cell connection. I ended up having to jump through a lot of hoops, use third-party applications, uh, that being Speedify, I'll leave a link to that below, uh, even though that's not ideal. Uh, because i think you need some sort of subscription but for now i just use the trial to make sure that this was working i'm hopeful that i'll find an actual fix for this but right now i'm having to use that but if you don't have that issue i'm using a samsung galaxy note 10 if i do find a fix i'll leave a pinned comment down below but if you don't have that issue this is pretty freaking cool so you just got to make sure that you have it enabled in here and you can do that by just going over here into Android Auto system and making sure that wireless Android Auto is ticked on. The other thing you're going to want to do is go to settings, wireless, make sure that the hotspot is on and set to 5 gigahertz. That's recommended. Connect to it with your phone and it hopefully should magically work. It did for me as long as you have that setting already enabled in your app. Uh, you might have to go into the developer settings and enable Android Auto Wireless uh, or whatever it might be worded as. But once you have that set up, it just really magically worked once both of these things booted up. It just automatically connected. And so far, I'm pretty hopeful um, because, at least in my very limited testing, the uh, audio issues that I had with the other method of doing this seem to have been resolved video is smooth as i could possibly want 
uh, no issues it's really um, not much of a difference if at all between this and a wired connection so I'm very hopeful that um, it's going to get better at least with my one problem with my phone again nothing to do with OAP unless they could find some other magical way of getting that connection but I don't think there is that's just something that I'm gonna have to figure out but this is really cool I'm really happy that it's working I'm gonna test this out quite a lot uh, if I do find any weird issues or glaring problems uh, with my testing, I'll leave a pinned comment down below. One other thing that I will mention, apart from the Android Auto stuff, OAP went ahead and released a uh, paid-for application that you can get on your phone, and that will just help you do some stuff that you might not be as comfortable doing, uh, like synchronizing the time. Maybe you won't have to deal with an RTC or real-time clock if you do that. It'll just synchronize between your phone and this. Uh, I think it will also let you show your notifications within OAP itself without you know needing Android Auto. For me, that's not that big a deal. I'll just hook up my uh, my phone and get into Android Auto myself and get so that sort of functionality. But if you find yourself within this uh, more than you do Android Auto for whatever reason, again, um, that's pretty cool. That's uh, again a paid for application. I think I checked it was like nine bucks plus for some reason but again if it's for you you will know and it's an option so that's really cool but that's really one of the things that i wanted to highlight is that i'm glad that uh, blue wave studios are putting a lot of work in since my last video they've just been cranking out updates and it's really exciting if you didn't watch the original video this is a paid for service or paid for license that you need for open auto pro but i think it's pretty damn well worth it I'm going to leave a link to that below, leave uh, a link to the Speedify program that I had to use for my case. But if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I feel like I never tell you guys that. Other than that, you'll have a good day. See ya.